put on a black wash to bring out some detail on the uh, dummy motor. You can see here's the, the dummy motor parts and it's been painted a bright gaudy silver. Um, I've got a picture of uh, an actual Bentley rotary in front of me here and it is mostly silver all polished up. But of course we've got to dirty it up a little. So we're going to use an old plastic modeler technique. It's called uh, applying a wash. So I'm going to use Tamiya acrylic for the wash because I know it works. So what we're going to do is put in some thinner. You don't need too much in a plastic cup. And then we're going to add some uh, black paint. So what we're actually wanting to do here is add paint to the thinner, not thinner to the paint, because we want a very, very thin mix. And as you can see, I'm making a bit of a mess with spraying. So we'll put in a bit more. You can see I'm just using a one of my mixing sticks here to put in some paint, which is flicking around and making a mess. But there we have it. Here's our wash ready to go on. Let's clean myself up here a little. And excuse me while I go get a brush. Okay, brush in hand. Just have a half inch soft plastic modeler brush. And I'm going to soak up some of the wash mixture here. And I'm just going to dribble it on and let it go around there not high tech but you can see right away how it nicely dirt the uh, the the thinner flows in all, into all the grooves and it nicely dirties up and brings out uh, all the highlights it's sort of the opposite of dry brushing instead of uh, getting a very dry brush with minimum amount of paint and rubbing it on the high spots I'm getting a very wet brush with lots of liquid and uh, we're putting it on in the low spots. And just go ahead and paint the whole motor. You can see as the thinner starts to dry and leave the paint behind, it doesn't leave a heck of a lot of paint behind. So you may have to do this two or three times to get the effect you want. And do the flat surfaces too. That'll just dirty it up a little bit and take some of that silver gloss off. And that just makes it look nice and grimy. See some of the uh, thinner is just soaked into the base here, the balsa, it's no big deal, just wipe off the excess and let that dry. So there's that, and then the front of the crankcase we'll just uh, do the same thing, we'll just dirty it up, put on one coat, and if you have puddles like that that form and things like that, just leave it, let it dry, and it'll sort of look like grease stains. And of course when you drop it, into uh, piles of dried Bondo body putty. It looks like simulated mud. It was all planned. So I just dab it, drop it again. That's pretty much done now. I may go over it one more time to darken it up a little more. And just soak up the excess that's pooling on the bottom there. And that pretty much does it. There's our nice dirtied up Bentley rotary. Gives a nice effect.